you start looking into BIM, you realize there's actually different levels or levels of collaboration. These range from level zero right the way up to level three. So let's go through these different levels to explain them in more detail. BIM level zero is the lowest common denominator. Effectively, there is no collaboration. Any that is done is via 2D CAD drawings, um, either for production or information. And this is normally distributed either via paper, fax, or some kind of electronic prints, or any kind of mixture of both. But generally, there is no collaboration. At level one, we're introducing 3D CAD. Now this is kind of proof of concept work, typically but the actual approval process is still going to be done mainly using 2D drawings. This will be shared electronically between the actual uh, the, the different suppliers and it's normally managed by the contractor. I suppose this is where most people are currently within the BIM environment or certainly within the different BIM levels. So BIM level 2, this is the important one. This is what we uh, people are trying to work at at the moment. So this is where everyone's using their own 3D CAD models but they're not necessarily working on a single shared model. So instead, we're actually collaborating between the different suppliers by using some other kind of format. So this is where we're going to use a common file format. So anyone within any organization can open that data to be able to work with this combined data model. So hence, any CAD package that everyone is using it must be capable of exporting to one of these common file formats. So the two that are recommended is the IFC, Industrial Foundation Class, or COBE, Construction Operations Building Information Exchange. The important one here for SOLIDWORKS is the IFC. Now this seems to have found the kind of the leading format for transferring files. All this is important as this is the main method of work that has been approved for by the British government for all of their civil projects from 2016 onwards. Finally, we have BIM Level 3. Now this currently doesn't exist and it's seen as the holy grail where everyone is just working on a single shared project model that is held somewhere away from everyone else. It's just kind of this one data set. Everyone can access it and modify it and do everything they need to do it but no one person actually owns the data. So this is known as open BIM. So currently this is causing a lot of nervousness within the industry because it means that no one actually owns their data. So what's to stop suppliers changing different suppliers and they're doing all the design work. So effectively this doesn't exist, but this is the plans for the future. They want to go to BIM level three. But what we're interested in for current manufacturing and certainly for the foreseeable future is BIM level two.